Let's start with the magic transparency. First things first, switch to Eevee and change the view transform to standard. Add a new material, mix an emission shader with a transparent BSDF, and to fix the transparency, change the blending mode to alpha clip. And here comes the magic part. Connect the geometry node's backfacing socket into the factor. But why is this working? Because backfacing makes the outside faces of the object black and the inside face is white. So you can use it as a mask. Pretty good, huh? I used this technique for the milk as well, the only difference is the gradient and the colors. Let's continue with the black outline. Add a new material with this plus button. For the black color I use only the material output. Enable backface culling. Add the solidify modifier and flip the normals so backface culling works as it should and set the material offset to 1, so it uses the black material that I created earlier. And there you go! You can mess around with the thickness until it looks perfect. And you can add some variety to your objects by changing up the colors, the textures and the thickness of the outlines. Secondary outline. Duplicate the object, apply the solidify modifier, delete the inside faces and the rest of the modifiers and add the wireframe. After your mesh is cleaned up, you can add some cool materials to it. This technique can be applied to any object. Stars and highlights. To paint stars onto a plane which has transparent background, you should use this node setup. The blending mode is alpha clip. After you've painted everything in the texture paint workspace, cut out the shapes with the knife tool and separate them from each other. And you are good to go. Procedural stars? Easy. Snapping the highlights onto the box? Not a problem. Smashing the like button? Unchallenging. Tricky glass shader. I start with the glass and then I'm gonna show you the reflections. The same backfacing magic is going on with the glass shader, which has a bit of a color, transmission roughness, and a 0.9999 IOR. Not one, because it doesn't work. It looks cool, but to make it pop, enable screen space reflections, check refraction, and in the material tab, tick the screen space refraction checkbox and set the refraction depth above zero. Beautiful. Let's check out the reflections. First you have to duplicate your object and add a new material to it. Don't forget to add some lights so you can see the reflections. The basic node setup is a transparent shader mixed with a diffuse one and make sure the blend mode is alpha blend. And the factor is a glossy BSDF connected into the shader to RGB node and then into a color ramp. And to make it semi-transparent, mix the diffuse with the transparent shader and play with the factor. What if you don't like the look of the reflections? Don't worry because you can customize them with a bunch of sliders. With the glossy roughness, glossy color, color ramp sliders, and you can even play with the specular reflection slider in the light settings. And that's pretty much it. If you want to support these videos, download the blend files from Gumroad or Patreon, but a thumbs up is also really helps me out. If you become my patron, you will get early access to YouTube videos and 3D assets like these cute shops I created in a Twitch stream, also photo scans and some random models. And you can watch tutorials that I don't feel like posting to the public, for example, I'm gonna make a video about this animation with geometry nodes. Bye, 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 bye,